Hey guys, welcome back. Now in the previous video, we looked at how to populate um, the text themselves and it pop populates correctly, as you can see, beautiful line, but we don't have the images yet. So let's go ahead and populate the images. So this is the text and the bottom here, we're gonna have the images. So with the images, it's slightly different because we have to convert this PF file to uh, an image. Now to do that, we say, uh, we come here and uh, so image files just grab the array and then we want to get the image which index uh, the current index so index path dot row and we say dot get data in background with block get data in background with block the other one shows the progress bar if you saw that but we don't need the progress bar right now and here we're going to say image data is what we get and uh, an error is also return there and we say if error equals to nil or we could say if image data is not equal to nil popular uh, you know that's pretty much better if image is not equal to nil, then or else, first of all, print line the error. So we we'll could troubleshoot our we. And then here, our image data, we now say create a let image equals to a UI image. And then we want the one that has a data right here. And the data that we're going to give it is this image data, which is not nil, it's because we check here. So we're going to give it that data. And then now let's populate. Uh, actually, no. Yep. We need to get the single cell now, this cell right here, the cell that we're currently in. We say single cell dot swift. And here it's an image view, Swift gram image view. Dot image equals to this image, the one that we created. You can say image file or whatever, but yeah, image. And that's that. So let's run that. Oops. Okay, let's unwrap that. Let's use this autocomplete feature to unwrap it. And Bill succeeded. Hope we have some image and boom. Nice. <laughs> that is pleasing. So let's go ahead and add a new image. Camera. I'll grab this big file. I know because I've used it before. Uh, big waterfall upload it's uploading and boom we have the big waterfall showing us the first item that is cool so so far we've done that now if you want to uh, if you run this on a real device of course you're going to be prompted to select until you change uh, this to camera and if I run it on the emulator it's gonna crash because the, there's no camera support for the emulator at the moment so you know what I'm running um, 8.3 I'm not really sure <laughs> let's just run this and test so let's add an item and as soon as we click that it crashes so yeah go back to the upload and just change this to uh, photo library and run it again and yeah it works so we can add we can remove now that is beautiful I like it so good job and keep going so in the next video we're going to now talk about auto layout and how to lay out this video and then we're going to finish up maybe by uh, 
the logout, how to log out a user and take them back outside, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so, good job.